15 training camp practices down, just four to go, if you can believe it. The Chiefs knocked out another full day of camp early this morning, but are now getting a break from workouts in St. Joe. Instead, Kansas City will finally get to suit up and face players not wearing red and gold, guys. ABC 17's Kyle Holmes has more from the campus of Missouri Western tonight. Natalie, after nearly three weeks of training camp, the Chiefs are finally arriving at the next checkpoint of the new season, preseason game one, the first real test to see where this team stands in search of a feat that's never been accomplished in the National Football League. I am. Are you ready? 15 practices in. Okay, then. The Chiefs are ready. Preseason game one is next on the docket. I'm extremely excited. I mean, obviously for me to go out there and play with these guys and showcase what we're, we have the ability to do. A break from facing themselves. Tired of going to get spags and every defense known to man. To get some live in-game action. I'm letting the guys play, make decisions under fire, and have them make those right decisions and learn from the mistakes after. Saturday's Chiefs preseason debut will give Coach Reed and company a chance to get a read on the young guys. All those young guys, I'd love to see how they compete. You know, uh, the higher the draft picks, they're going to be in there in a little bit better competition. So want to see how they how they handle that and see where the chemistry stands on offense as that crowded Chiefs receiver room competes to cement their spot on the depth chart. What I've loved the most is how much they root for each other. I mean, you can see it out there. I mean, when guys make plays, everybody's going out there to, to celebrate. And we have a lot of good guys that are playing hard and all making plays against a great defense. And so um, and it's not always going to be perfect. It's not always going to be the the perfect play or whatever like that, but they're all competing every single time. They're rooting for each other, and that's what you want in the receiving room is a good, good group of guys that are talented. That unit, who's got some speed. Obviously with the speed, we're going to be able to hit guys over the top, um, but I think the biggest thing is you, you want to be able to do both. Is striving for a balanced style of offense. It's about being smart, and I think more than even coach calling the game, it's got to be about me making the right decisions. I mean, he's going to call plays that have shots in them, but every time he, has, he calls a play that has a shot in there, there's plays for me to get underneath and get to the right guy. To speed past the competition in search of the NFL's first three-peat. Now, head coach Andy Reid said today it will be the ones in the first quarter, the twos in the second, and so on. As kickoff for the first preseason game on the quest for that three-peat is set for Saturday at 6 p.m. But for now, reporting in St. Joe, Kyle Helms, ABC 17 Sports.